Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be testing out the new Cover FX Power Play Foundation as well as the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. The foundation retails for $52 Canadian and the concealer retails for $36 Canadian. So they are high-end products. I want to try out both of these products today in this video and see how they work. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start off by reading some claims for the foundation just to see what it claims to do. It says for coverage it is full, for skin type it's combination and oily, and the finish is supposed to be matte. And then it says it's a modern matte blurring foundation with weightless full coverage that provides sweat proof all day wear, long lasting shine control, environmental protection, and a finish that will not oxidize. Okay. And of course, cover effects is vegan, cruelty free, and their shade range is really good too um, in this foundation, so that is awesome. And I have this in the shade N60. I'm just going to give this a nice shake because I always like to shake my foundation before I apply it. And this is what the bottle looks like. And I don't know how I feel about this squeeze tube because um, I was at Sephora and I was trying to find my shade and I was testing out with the testers and some of the testers they were like halfway done and I found that it was really hard to get out whatever product was left in there and there was still quite a bit of product in there but they were like all the way down to here or like halfway down and um, I was just not able to get it out like I had to squeeze so hard and it wouldn't come out so probably gonna struggle with that I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to squeeze out so I'm just going to squeeze some out all right so oh I forgot to prime my face whoops let's prime the face first I'm just gonna use my regular primers that I'm using right now which is the no pore glam and the lower mercy now I am ready to put on this foundation I'm gonna start off this side and on this side I'm just gonna use my blue blue on this side I'm gonna use my beauty blender It dries down really fast. I think my lighting was too bright, so I just turned it down. Mm. Sorry, I just don't know how I feel about this foundation. Yet. I think it's looking a little too dry on my face. The coverage is not that full coverage like it claims to be to be honest I'm taking some more okay see like I'm already having issue squeezing this out I don't know why I... oh, I'm not liking the squeeze tube I'm gonna try here and I'm not even gonna bother using a brush with this one because I just know it's not gonna work well with the brush and I use a beauty blender anyways for all my foundations. So I'm just going to stick with that on this side. And I was actually really excited for this foundation because I love Cover FX products. Everything that I've used so far from Cover FX, I've loved. But this foundation, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I don't, I don't really know how I even feel about it yet. Usually with foundations, I can tell right away how I feel about it, whether I'm gonna love it or hate it, and this one I'm just kind of unsure. I'm taking a little bit more. Holy moly! This is gonna be a struggle, like I'm not liking the tube at all. Coverage is okay, but when I think about full coverage foundations, I think about my Huda Beauty Full Filter, because that, for me, is full coverage foundation and I feel like it's just emphasizing my pores on this side not so much on this side but this side for sure I'm gonna try the Laura Mercier concealer now and I have this in the shade 2W I'm just going to conceal and highlight with this I'm excited for this concealer because I love her Flawless Fusion foundation. It's so good. So when I saw she came out with the concealer, I was like, ooh, 
concealer is blending out so nicely. I feel like I shouldn't have tried these two products together because they're both new to me and I'm trying them out for the first time so I probably shouldn't have tried them both at the same time because I could not like the foundation with this concealer or I could not like this concealer with this foundation but it might work fine with other products that I have so Ooh, this concealer is really nice it covered so nicely and it's looking nice with this foundation, but I just don't know how I feel about this foundation though. And it feels super lightweight, it blends out really nicely. It's full coverage. I am feeling this concealer. All right, so I'm going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once everything is on. Also, I wanted to let you know I am using a new brow pencil. This is by Sephora and this is the retractable brow pencil it's waterproof oh i didn't know that oh god i don't really like waterproof products they're just so hard to get off um this is in the shade soft charcoal number six i'm liking this but just to let you know i do not like the spoolie like this little brush it's not even a spoolie it's like those little tiny brush that's the only downside to this I really wish they had a spoolie like normal brow pencils do like the Anastasia the benefit but now I have to reach out for my other spoolie and it's kind of annoying because I'm just used to you know filling it in flipping it over and then brushing it so that's the only downside however it is cheaper than the Anastasia and the benefit this is $16 Canadian I believe I like the color it works nice but just don't like this side why I wish they would change this but yeah um, anyways I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look all right guys so this is the final result the foundation is looking okay like it's looking a little bit better than it did when I initially put it on however it did get a little bit blushy right over here where my highlight is and where like kind of like the blush is so it's blotchy right over here i don't know why it's still kind of um emphasizing my pores over here my contour was a little bit hard to blend out however the concealer is amazing i already love the concealer i just hope that it lasts nicely throughout the day and doesn't crease too much any concealer that i use creases on me so Creasing is not a huge, huge problem as long as it doesn't crease so much, you know what I mean? Even the Tarte Shape Tape creases on me. So I know that's not something that we can avoid or I can avoid, um, but as long as it lasts and looks nice and doesn't crease like crazy, I am fine. So anyways, I'll tell you guys what the time is right now. Currently it is 3.27 p.m. It is a little bit later in the day, but I'm gonna try to wear this foundation for at least eight hours or so, and then I'll come back and let you guys know how I like everything. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. All right, you guys, so I am back, and it is currently 11... 11 38 p.m. um but i love the concealer it has creased just a little bit right over here but um not too much nothing crazy i feel like it always creases like this with any concealer that i use and that i've used in the past so i am absolutely loving the concealer the foundation i really don't know i don't know I don't know about the foundation. I feel like I need to try it out a couple more times to really see how I feel about it, whether I really love it or I don't. However, what I can tell you about the foundation is right now, it looks a lot better than it did when I first put on the foundation. It kind of came off around here and it also kind of settled into my smile lines here, which I never have an issue with, but... I feel like this foundation did that, which is weird because I never have that issue with any foundation, no matter how full coverage or matte the foundation is. Um, but yeah, I think I need to try out this foundation with a different primer, a more hydrating primer. So 
yeah that kind of just completes my review over here um i will definitely have to try out the foundation a couple more times to see how i feel about it but if you guys want i can always keep you updated if you see me using it that means i am liking it if i don't use it again then that means don't worry about it if you guys have tried the foundation let me know in the comments down below how you like it but yeah that completes my review right here i hope you guys enjoyed hope it was helpful don't forget to subscribe and like and i will see you all in the next one it's about to fall. <laughs> yeah so i will see you all in the next one candy paint with the white on top lambo doors or the woo up drop if you busy plotting on what i got kicking your door or swat you thought Hundred thousand dollars on the tabletop. Half price my whip, same price my.